Fishers is considered to be one of the safest cities in America, but people in one neighborhood there are not feeling all that safe tonight. In fact, a family in the Royalwood subdivision right near Oleo Road and 116th Street, they woke up to a burglar in their own living room. Our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson spoke with them about that terrifying experience. The victims in this case believe the suspect may have parked his car at the beginning of their subdivision, bypassing this crime watch area sign to get into their home. And once I saw the guy jumping through the window, that took a whole different turn. Burglary victim Steven didn't want his face shown, but did want to share the nightmare he woke up to Monday afternoon. He lives here in the Royal Wood subdivision in Fishers. His dog, named Maui, woke him up barking to let him know something was wrong. She was going crazy, just barking, uh, trying to get out. I heard a window open, so immediately I knew something was wrong. I went out there and uh, my dog, uh, she chased him out the window. He jumped headfirst out the window. The intruder took off running, and Stephen believes he stopped to grab a jacket from these outside bushes in front of their house. And I went to the front door, and he was headed down the street in a, in a, in a jacket, let's say a brown jacket. Stephen moved into the Royal Wood subdivision last summer and just never expected anything like this. Even Fisher's police hopes to hear from someone in the neighborhood who may have seen, heard, or has outside home security cameras nearby. This is the window the burglar found open and for some reason was bold enough to come into their home in broad daylight. I was, I was scared at first, uh, kind of nervous, but now I'm just kind of angry. I mean, this kind of stuff can happen to anybody, no matter how prepared you are. Um, you know, it was my mistake for leaving a window unlocked. Won't do that again. Since this is a crime watch area, Stephen has warned his neighbors. If you can help in this case, you can call Crime Stoppers anonymously. That telephone number is 262 TIPS. M. Fishers, I'm Steve Jefferson. Back to you in the studio.